www.ghostbusters.tv I'm third generation fishmonger based in Ludlow in South Shropshire. My business on the high street is called The Fish House and in 2010 I decided to create gymfish.co.uk. My husband's a personal trainer, many years experience and we decided in 2010 it was the right time to deliver fresh good quality protein to people's doors. We saw the opportunity to provide our wonderful fresh fish that our locals buy day in day out and deliver that overnight to people uh, through a dedicated courier service. Your order is picked from the best quality fish from my family's wholesale business in the West Midlands. It's vat packed and packaged in a walk-all system such as this here. It's delivered to you with 412 at an optimum temperature and will stay cool in this system for up to 48 hours. So if it's delivered to your house or office, you can leave it in the cool box system uh, safely until you're in a position to put it in the fridge or freezer. I'd just like to talk through some of the variety that you can buy online and show you the differences between um, the omega rich fish and the white fish. Here you've got the tuna, a wonderful line and pole caught uh, piece of tuna from Sri Lanka. Um, it's sashimi grade so essentially you can eat it raw. Um, most people would steak it and just quickly sear it and leave it quite rare in the middle. Um, we have here the wonderful salmon, um, A grade sea farmed, that's the uh, best quality salmon that I can purchase that is still economical for most customers to buy. Um, a grade sea farmed means that it's not fed any antibiotics and it's got plenty of room to swim around and is freedom farmed um, approved. Another oily rich in omega fish is the humble rainbow trout. Um, these are farmed in uh, English um, farms, beautiful flavour uh, and wonderful quality. But the real low fat and high protein can be found in your white fishes, your cod, your pollock and here I've got um, a piece of frozen panda. It's also known as bassa and river cobbler. To the fishmonger it's panga. Uh, panga is a river fish, um, uh, it's got super nutritional value and it will come to you frozen and vat packed. So what you need to do is pop it into your freezer as soon as you possibly can on receipt of your order. Um, it's got an amazing amount of protein, 52 grams for a 300 um, gram portion. If you haven't got the confidence to prepare your fish at home, then don't worry. Just make a comment online when you place your order as to whether you want it filleted or skinned or if you want it individually vat packed in a certain weight, 200 gram, 300 gram for example. I'm going to fill it a mackerel and by the end of this video you'll be wondering why you've never tried to do this at home. Just lift the fin up, take the filleting knife from the underside all the way around to the back of the head. Run the knife, let the knife feel the backbone all the way along and it will take the fillet off. Turn the fish over, lift the fin again and make the same incision on the other side. And exactly the same procedure all the way along until you've taken the second fillet off. And there you have it. This here is just row. It's mackerel are in season at the moment, so they've all got a little bit of row. What I'm going to do is just take that row out and then take the main bones off of the fillet. They come away nice and easy. If your knife is sharp, you won't have a problem at all. There you go, that's one fillet. Take the row off that one as well. 
and again run the filleting knife just the way onto the bones and using the knife away from you just take the main bone off and trim it up because you don't need that little bit of belly on there and you have two beautiful fillets of mackerel. I'm going to use the filleted mackerel just to show you a very very simple quick grilled dish um, so I'm going to take the fillets I'm just going to make a small insertion on the back just so we can get some flavour into the fish while it's grilling and for me I don't think you can beat a little bit of chilli this is just hot chilli powder with a little bit of good quality olive oil give that a little stir around and it gives it a really lovely tasty kick to your mackerel the mackerel is full of flavour anyway but I think that the chilli really does complement it try and make sure that some of that chilli oil goes into the little cuts you've made and I'm just going to pop that on the grill pan get a little bit of a little brown on the fleshy side as well And this is literally going to take about, I guess, five minutes or so if your grill is really, really hot. The thing is with fish is that don't worry about it being slightly undercooked. It's really not, you can take fish that a little bit too far and then it becomes tough. Um, so if it's a little bit under, then eat it nice and rare. It's beautiful like that. Thanks for watching. I hope the video has been beneficial and you've picked up some tips and tricks about fresh fish. If you've got any more queries or questions, then please feel free to drop us a line or check out www.jimfish.co.uk.